In this section, we are going to talk about reference clipping, utilizing the clip boundary, the mask, and also delete clip if you need to delete out a clip. Let's go to the reference dialog box, which is this icon right here, loads it up. If I do a fit view, I went in here and I, and I attach the topo, which is this drawing right here. But you notice that it's outside of our border that we have attached to it. We're going to come in here, clip the boundary out so we just see the stuff that's inside the border and it kind of masks out everything outside of it, kind of clips it away. There's multiple ways we could do it. But first of all, let me do a fit view. I come in here and I'll just zoom into my border. I could come in here and put a shape, a box around this area, and then go down to tools, clip boundary, and clip it out. But, just kind of an FYI, there is actually a shape embedded inside the border file to where you can just turn that level on and it will have that shape depending on what shape that you want, whether it's this, the plan portion at the top here and then the profile, or just a full plan and a bunch of other options. So if I go to my level display, which is this icon right here, and I come in here and I select my border file, you'll notice that most levels are turned off. Well, if I come down here, it's fairly close to the bottom, there's one in here that says border full plan sheet. If I turn on that level, you'll notice that there will be a boundary placed around it. Just like what I have here. Or if it was a different type of sheet, maybe you just want the top plan, or your plan sheet's at the top, and then your profile's at the bottom, you could do that also. So it all depends on what, how you created those particular sheets of how you want to turn that level on if you're wanting to clip it out just like what we're doing right now. So I'm going to turn on the one that says border full plan sheet. I can close it down for right now. And I come back in here and I'm going to select the file or if there were more files I could hold my control key down and do multiple ones at the same time. That's perfectly fine. Or you know, hold your shift key down and do multiple ones. But I'm just going to do this one right here because that's the only one that's going outside my border. So I would select it. And if I go to my tools pull down, there's an option here that says clip boundary. Select it. Next thing that you need to identify is what method that you want. If we had an active fence out there, we could use an active fence also or an element. I'm going to select element. I'm going to leave this one right here, check mark that says use references dialog list, which are the ones that I have selected inside my list here. And all I need to do now is identify my element that I want to use as my clip boundary. And what it will do is it will keep everything inside my boundary right here, but everything outside of it is going to clip it away. Your geometry is not being deleted, it's just clipping it out inside this file. So I'll select my element and we're finished. Now if I do a fit view it's just going to zoom into everything that's inside the border and all this outside geometry clipped away. So that's how you can use the clip boundary inside here where you can clip out certain items outside that border. Now another option that may come into effect let's say we need to put in some some text inside of an area. We could do that but we may need to mask out a certain area through here that is referenced inside here. Maybe we got some geometry that we don't necessarily need and we want to mask it out, but we will, we don't want to detach the file. Well, if you come in here and do a tools clip mask, you know, I forgot to do something first. No big deal. I forgot to define a fence. What we need to do first is define the fence that we want to mask. So we'll use the place fence tool, which is right here, or we can go to our construction tools and grab it right here. And I'll just place a box around this area down here, just for our example. I don't know what files are actually going through here, so just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and select all my reference files. And the way I did that was I selected my top one, scroll down to the bottom, hold my shift key down, and select my bottom one, so it has them all. Now if I come in here and I do a Tools, Clip Mask, and I left click to accept it, it'll actually mask out 
that particular area right here. So now I can come in here, if I close it out of my dialog box, you'll see that this area is masked out. So I can come in here and I can do place text. I can put in text here inside the active file and do whatever I need to do to that. Or, let's say I need to delete that clip. You can do that also. So if we had a clip that was out there and we need to delete it, we no longer are utilizing it, we can remove that clip. To do that, you can't do them all at one time. You have to do them separate. Wish you could do them all at the same time, but you can't. What you have to do is if you want to delete out that clip, you have to come in here, select the individual one that you want, and then come in here and do a tools delete clip. And then you identify the clip that you want to delete, that boundary that's around it, left click on it, left click to accept it, and deletes out that clip. So you'd have to do it to each one of these to remove those clips. And I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. And you'll notice as I go down through here, more geometry is going to show up because I'm taking the mask out away from that particular file. Okay, kind of removed all of those clips inside that area. Probably a little more typical situation versus what we did there is if you had, let me go ahead and pull this down. And inside my border file here, I'm going to turn on my profile. This is probably a little more typical situation where if you had just a plain geometry at the top and your profile at the bottom and you're going to want to mask out a certain area inside your, your grid lines here in your profile to put in some text for like maybe earth pour quantities or cut and fill or you know balance quantities, you could do that. That's where you come in here, go back to your reference dialog box, which I already have opened up, go into my border file because that's where those, that, those grid lines are located at if it's not copied into the file. And now I can come in here and I'll define my fence. I'll come in here and I'll do a clip clip mask. Left click to accept it. Close out my dialog box. Remove my fence. You'll notice that that's masked out now. So I can come in here and I can put in text. Do whatever I need to do to it inside my active file. So those are some of the options using the reference clipping that you can utilize in MoDOT production. I'm going to come back in here. And turn off these two right here because it's not really utilized with this sheet because I got a full plane sheet versus a plane sheet at the top and profile at the bottom. Like I said, that's all depend on how your sheets were created by the designer or technician.